A very good morning. Welcome to Perspective, a program where we discuss all that is making news in the national, international business and sports arena. I'm Natasha Jha Bhaskar. So in the host segment, we'll discuss the national news. And to tell us more on national and international news, I have with me political journalist K.G. Suresh. Thanks very much, Mr. Suresh, for joining us in this program. So Narendra Modi has started his yatra and has challenged Prime Minister yes. and said that it's time for him to go for special investigation team probe on the coal uh, controversy. Uh, especially, you know, in December, we'll, we know that there will be Gujarat Assembly elections. Um, this is, uh, you know, he's already, this will be the fourth time uh, uh, he'll be contesting, uh, uh, you know, in Gujarat. Uh, uh, what possibilities you see for Narendra Modi? Well, you see, uh, by uh, announcing already getting into the you know race, I think that he has he he has announced that he is serious about Gujarat. First, his first priority is Gujarat because his you know uh, the, when the party takes a call on whether he is to be brought to the center will depend to a great extent on his performance in Gujarat. How much he is able to perform? What is the kind of majority? It is not just about winning. It's about how much of seats he is going to bring in. Is it going to be because if he is not able to bring more seats or at least uh, retain the present uh, strength, then questions would be raised on his popularity, whether his popularity is sliding. So first, at his own home turf, he has to prove that he is competent to lead the nation. You know, that kind of a message he will have to send to the party first. So for him, it's a really big challenge. And this time, it's not a cakewalk also. You have a resurgent Congress on the one hand. On the other hand, you have people like Kesubai Patel, Suresh Mehta, the entire group, you know, which used to be with him, the, the dissidents. They have all come together and they are openly now campaigning and particularly in the Patel stronghold of Saurashtra. Mm -hmm. Saurashtra is going to be a big challenge for Modi this time. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, you have certain issues also. The, con uh, the opposition Congress is also on a, you know, drive. Uh, I mean, they have announced not only they are, this time they are not just talking about the 2002 riots. They are talking about you know affordable housing for women, low cost housing for women. You, you, they are talking about you know farm loans. They are talking about all you know agricultural and other issues, uh, developmental issues, governance issues. So I think they have also realized that it is so not Congress just... Congress is all set to give a uh, that the, the, fight. The, the, uh, Congress and also the, the, the you know the people who have left the party, you know the BJP itself, Modi's own critics, yeah, the party rebels who have now you know grouped up and formed their own floated their own outfit. I think that they are going to pose it because earlier, you see, if you remember the last elections, at that time also these rumblings were there. But they were not so open and the kind of response they used to get was not this kind of a response. Today you see Kesubai drawing crowds. People are listening to him. Whether they vote for him or they vote for Modi is something to be seen. But then the fact is that they are drawing crowds. And Kesubai Patel, is, as you said, that he has a stronghold on Saurashtra. Yes, and so particularly... How many votes come yes. from, from Yes, so Rashtra Rashtra and, you know, you have got about the BJP getting about more than, you know, 25 to 30 seats, you know, in that, uh, the Patel stronghold. So, tremendous so, performance I think pressure on Mr. Modi. Oh, uh, yes. To, uh, oh, yes. You know, I think that that is why he has, you know, kind of uh, gone into the battle hall hog. And for him, it's a do or die battle. Thanks mm -hmm. very much, Mr. Suresh, Thank for joining pleasure. us in this program.